Okay, hello everyone. Here's a video on how to use a real life video or video sync in Golden Cheetah. So what you're doing is you're having a video of a, a nice ride on your screen and the trainer is reacting to the slope on the video and the video speed is reacting to the power that you're putting out. So uh, as close to riding in real life as, as you're, you're going to get indoors. And uh, the way we're going to do this is uh, just uh, go to the Golden Cheetah website, goldencheetah.org, and I'll just click download there. And I'm not going to choose the release build. I'm just going to scroll down and just uh, choose a snapshot build. Now, these builds may be a bit more unstable, but um, this is just to make sure I've got the latest video sync um, uh, software. Now, Golden Cheetah version 3.6 development there. I click to download that. If your browser says it's unsafe, just ignore that and keep the file. Run it. Install the Microsoft redistributable. And uh, then you will want to reboot your computer. So I've already done that. And uh, I'm, I'll show you this just before we fire up Golden Cheetah. I've got my um, video here. I'm not going to tell you how to record a uh, real life video. Um, I'll tell you that in a different video. But for the moment, you want your video here and your GPX there. And you want the two to be in sync. So you've recorded them both at the same time. So the GPX speed correlates with the video speed. And uh, ideally, you want to do it without any stops. Otherwise, you've got a fair bit of editing to do. I'll show you the middle file here, the JSON file. I'll, I'll show you um, how to get that in a second. So uh, now let's start up Golden Cheetah. You'll be uh, faced with a blank athlete's list. So you'll need to click new, but I've already uh, filled in my metrics and uh, I'm, I'm there. So I'll just open, open me there. And uh, first of all, you'll be hit with a white splash screen that's asking you to connect devices and you can skip that you can click no to showing that um, in the future which is what I did I don't know how to get that back so you're not seeing it I've already connected my devices and I'll show you how to do it if you don't do it at that point anyway what you want to do is you want to go to activity import from file and you want to browse to your GPX file and import that Take a note of the date of that GPX file, because if you've got a lot of uh, activities already in Golden Cheetah, you'll have to go back to that date. Here we are. Um, this is just any old file, but I just highlight that, and then I go to Activity, and then Export. And I want to uh, export as a JSON file, and uh, then I want to uh, save that in the same folder as your videos. So we've done that and we want to go to the train tab over here and if you don't see this list over here what you want to do is you want to go to uh, view and you want to show left sidebar. You also want to go to uh, tools and options and go to the training tab and uh, you, I've got my devices there we'll show you how to get those preferences and simulate speed from power and also browse to find your video directory and then you save that I'm not going to save it I've already got it there and then what you want to do is you go to your media and then import video from file and uh, you go to your uh, video sync um, sorry not from file I uh, beg your pardon you want to scan for videos because you've already put down your um, search path and you can see if I scroll down here there it is and you just search and you've got one video, two workouts, and one video sync. You don't want your text to be cut off. You can change the, uh, the text scaling in options. Um, so I'm going to save that. So what I want to do is uh, then show you how to connect your devices. You go up to devices, add a device, and uh, you know, Ant Plus is the most reliable I find. So I'm just going to click that and it will automatically find things, but you can switch things off here uh, and then reconnect manually and just click through next, next, next and uh, add your devices. Use a name that you know and uh, I tend to put each device because I can't. you can't actually uh, connect your kit picker and then connect your Garmin heart rate and then the next time choose another heart rate monitor. So I've just named which heart rate monitor I'm using. So I'm just going to choose uh, the GPX file. I think I can choose the uh, JSON file in the workout and then uh, the video in the media and then um, the uh, video sync 
in the video sync box. So I've chosen all of those. I'm going to click the button to connect there and that should be me connecting. And then if I press play, that should start the video and it does start you off riding straight away. So let's see what happens. Um, before I do that, I'd better show you how to display the video. In fact, the video will be displayed in the blank screen, black screen you see behind me. But uh, you've got to get that up. So you've got to uh, you've got to go to uh, that's the chart settings. Actually, uh, what I could do is uh, remove the chart and show you um, all the way from the beginning. So if I remove the chart, this is what you'll see. So um, if I go to uh, edit view, yeah, view, there it is, add chart and video player. And you can choose graphical meters, which I think will be my preference. But I'm just going to show you with the map because uh, then you'll see a map. It does overhang the video a little bit, but um, there we are. And then what you'll want to do is resize it. So uh, I'm going to resize it here. Let's make it as big as we can. There we go. And now if I press play, we've got my video. There we are. And it starts you off straight away. So you don't have any time. It just starts going. Oh, there we are. It's given a bit of a jump now that I'm cycling. Uh, just maybe I think because I was on the flat. Now you've got a lot of artifact there. Uh, I'm not sure. Golden Cheetah hasn't really been doing that until now. Um, but it disappears. It, it was on the last time I just had a look. But it's gone now. So I'm pedaling away. You can see my speed at the bottom left, my power there, and you can see the gradient there. If I switch my kicker climb on, you'll see the climb just raise up there as it reacts to the gradient there. Now, it's a 2% gradient here. If I just stop, hopefully my speed won't carry me over the end and you'll see that I actually stop. Oh, I think the speed's gonna carry me over the end. Let's see. Let's see. You can see I'm slowing down, but if you're on a slope upwards, you would stop completely. So let's keep going a little bit. And uh, you've got my cadence in the middle, my heart rate down below, as I say, power on the right, with the um, gradient beneath that. And again, you've got a little profile of the route on the left with gradient again there, just below your speed. Time and distance, top right. And as you can see, top left, we've got the map. Now, let's uh, keep going. Now here, I'm, I've got my videos, 10 gigabytes. It's recorded in 4K. I've downsampled to 1080p. Now, you can see it's great quality, it's nice and smooth. I used an Insta360 one-inch edition with flow state stabilization. Not sponsored, by the way, I'm just telling you what I used. Um, and uh, there we go, up the hill. If I stop there, we will stop. Now I need to adjust in settings. You can adjust in the settings uh, all the um, your drag, your aerodynamics, and uh, bike weight. So I need to do that. I think I carry on a bit too long for my weight, really. I think my bike weight's very low in the settings, so I'll need to increase that. So uh, here we go, riding again, and. Uh, as you can see, the kicker climb is adjusting to the slope as we go. So that's it. That's Golden Cheetah. Um, if I go to modify the chart settings, you can see the video on its own because the modification of the chart settings only kicks in when, you've, uh, when you um, restart. So if I change it to graphical meters, uh, it just removes everything. Um, it will then bring that back when you next start, but it won't have the map, which I think is what I like. Uh, I don't think I need the map if I'm riding a video. So there you have it.
how to use your real life video with Golden Cheetah. I'll do another video using Big Ring VR. And also I'm going to cover Kino Map as well. So if you like this video, want to see more, do like and do please subscribe. Thanks for listening.